Hey guys, Black Ops 272 here. Um, I'm just making a tutorial video um, on how to beep out your swear words. Um, got a comment by Rider Naked uh, asking how to do it, so I thought I'll do it now. And uh, it's been a couple of days, but I've been working late nights and I haven't had time to do it at night time uh, for everyone sleeping downstairs, and I don't want to be swearing when everyone's sleeping. Guess they hear me. So I'm gonna do it now. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to. Um, bleep out your swear words um, and uh, I'm going to do it on uh, Sony Vegas 8 and I'm also going to try and do it on uh, Windows Movie Maker because I've never used Windows Movie Maker so we'll see if we can do it on Windows Movie Maker and if we can then that's a bonus as well because that's the two main um, editing programs that most people use is Vegas and uh, Windows Movie Maker so we're going to get into it right now Right, so now we need um, a sample piece of video or audio uh, with some swear words in, so I can show you how to um, blank out your swears. And um, well, I just can't be f to go and look on my f hard drive for a f video with f swear words in it. But that'll do. Right, okay. So here's the timeline. Here, uh, you'll be looking at the um, Sony Vegas timeline and. Um, Right here, record take number one. This one here is our piece of sample audio that you would have heard a couple of seconds ago. Um, so to do your yeah, bleeping out the swear words, um, that's pretty easy. It just uh, well, it depends how many times you swear. And if you swear a lot and you want to bleep out a lot of swears, you probably end up uh, trying to stop yourself from swearing if you do, can't be bothered editing. So what we're going to do on the Sony Vegas set. Uh, by the way, if you didn't hear it before, so you're going to right click, you're going to insert an audio track, you can also press Control Q, but I just like to do it by hand. So he has track number three, he has another audio track for us, um, he has our piece of original audio. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into where my sensor beep is, and we're going to pick it up. So you pick up your file, and we're going to put it in to Vegas and then we we'll have a little beep here so now we we'll just kinda need to find out where on the original audio the swear word is so we're gonna have a little listen right so it's, here we go this is the bit here so we're gonna zoom in using the mouse uh, scrolly wheel and we're gonna try and find the point where I start swearing so it's about here so we're gonna move this here and uh, once you've got it into the rough position of where you want it, you're gonna um, click on to onto the like time bar how it's flashing. So you click on it until you get the double arrow, and then it'll highlight your clip. And we're gonna split it where I start swearing. I'm gonna move this beep out of the way for a second. Now this is where it starts getting a bit uh, annoying. So from the split um, to where the bar is now is two swear words. So we're gonna press S on the keyboard. Oh no, we're not. We need to go to double arrow and highlight the piece of f uh, audio again. We're gonna press S now, which is going to split it and make it into a separate section there. So this uh, bit here is now a separate section. So we're just going to zoom in because um, we're trying to get it here so we don't miss out any words. So we've not missed out any words. So what we're going to now I've checked that out. <coughs> we're going to press delete um, and then we're going to um, right click. We're going to press, you won't be able to see it up here, but we're going to press copy and then we're going to right click on the timeline here and press paste. Um, because dragging it out, I don't know what it sounds like. It probably sounds stupid. So what we're gonna do is you can kind of adjust the time, uh, the space between each beep. Right. Okay. So we've got the finished product here. Um, it took about two minutes, two and a half minutes to uh, do it. But obviously, if you've got a proper vlog. Yeah, it might take a bit longer. Um, it's just more the f fact that you kind of 
you get a bit stumped when you swear and then speak straight afterwards. It's kind of hard because you have to do some really hard edit and to be able to cut out the swear word and come back to normal speaking. Um, it's that's the thing I find annoying because there's a bit of the video where I swore and then straight afterwards, um, straight afterwards uh, it was a, a normal word. That was the only hard bit I found. But um, yeah, so that's basically what I've done here is uh, just cut out the swear words here. So there's one there, one there, one there, and one there. So there's four swear words in the little clip. Um, so um, that's how you do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hop on on to Windows Movie Maker and see if we can get um, do the same kind of idea on there. Right, okay, so into Windows Movie Maker now. I've got a clip already in here of me doing some swear words, and I've slowed down my voice so it's a lot easier for me to edit the file. So, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to find your swear words. So, um, obviously, you're going to play the clips, and uh, when you get to the swear word bit, what you're going to do is um, you're going to. Um, stop the recording um, and then you want to split it just like in uh, Windows uh, Vegas Windows Vegas Sony Vegas um, so that's the split there that's one of the swear words and I've played until I get the next uh, swear word so I'm going to split it again um, so it's a lot easier to do this in Windows uh, why do I keep saying Windows? it's a lot easier to do this in Sony Vegas than it is to do it in Windows because Windows is just absolute poop so I'm going to go back again I'm going to try and find the next little swear word here so I'm going to pause it about here and uh, where the swear word is and I'll try to do it a different way this time um, so I'm going to split it again and uh, I'm going to split it at the end of the swear word as well and uh, there's my swear words it looks really messed up like a, too much crap on the screen um, to be honest uh, there's just too much stuff there uh, Sony Vegas just is so much simpler. So basically, the whole idea of this, um, I'm going to explain it really quickly, is that once you've got your splits, you find a mu some music you want to put on top of the um, swear word. So we're going to have a quick look around here for some music. Uh, once you find some music, what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to put it on top of the swear word and cut the music down to the correct size and um, after you've done that what you want to do is click on the actual chunk of video that has the swear word in it and uh, what you're going to do then is you're going to want to double click onto the video uh, so it brings up the video um, properties menu whatever you want to call it and what you're going to do is you're going to um, turn the video volume down and turn the music volume up so that um, the video volume for the swear word portion of the video is on zero and the music volume is on whatever you want it um, so that when it comes to that section of uh, video uh, the vo there's no volume on it and it's only music um, and that's how you'd blank out your swear words on um, Windows Movie Maker um, it's a lot of work to be honest um, putting it in Sony Vegas is just easier because you just split your clip and put some music over the top and it's just less hassle it's a lot easier to use but that's what you get for using free editing service uh, it's not the end of the world if you use it a lot but obviously I don't I don't use Windows um, Movie Maker anymore so I'm not very good at it anymore funnily enough even though I spent a long time using it I've kind of forgotten um, so um, I find it hard. I actually couldn't manage to split the music up. It was just being a bit of a bum. <laughs> Kept splitting the video up instead. So, um, anyways, that's how you do it. And I'm just going to cut the video here because I don't want it to go on forever. So, thank you guys for watching. And I hope it's helped you. So, you've got both um, Windows Movie Maker and Sony Vegas on how to bleep out your square words. So, I'm going to try and cater for a couple of people here. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys and uh, give me some comments and some feedback on this tutorial please.